What up YouTube, it's me, it's Mitch, favourite today, how you doing? It's been a while, um, just nothing's happened, I just couldn't particularly be bothered to do a video, um, and I got a haul today and I thought, sod it, I'm going to do a video, um, Liam's been getting me to film like little bits, um, lately, and here he comes downstairs, get into bed, get into bed, you can watch it tomorrow, Get into bed. Liam, get into bed. Get into bed. Just wait to go. I knew, because what we've started doing, we, their bedtime used to be like about half seven, eight o'clock. Um, but we've kind of pulled it back till nine o'clock because they kept waking up at like four or five in the morning. Um, and when I'm awake, the whole house is awake. And um, so what we've started doing is like, right, you've got to settle down at like at seven o'clock, which is basically get out of the morning in your mum's face. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I knew because normally when I'd do a video, he'd be asleep. But I knew like if he did, if he heard me doing a video, he'd be like, "What are you doing?" What's the video doing? I literally can't. I can't even get my phone out in a public place anymore without him going. You doing a video? I'm like, no, just just stop. It's constant. I've got little little clips on my phone from like I might do a little compilation of them. Of um, I was going to a Wolves game the other week. Um, we we're at a tent place. He just constantly wants me to film. Um, also, the beard might look weird. I had it cut today. Go away, lads. I had it cut today, and um, the person, like, what I do is I, I just ask for a trim, which is basically like doing all under there and my sides. And, like, he hasn't done any of that. And then he straightened my beard. Not with, like, straighteners. He just kind of got a comb and, like, brushed all the crinkly bits out but I like it a bit crinkly I like it a bit more thick out he's just kind of straightened the hair out and now I look like freaking Gandalf but yeah I don't like it straight I'm having it because drooling it a few times when I go to sleep and stuff like that and it'll get more crunched up into my face again but yeah it's freaking annoying it's straightened everything but look how long that is straightened it um, yeah anyway so I went to cherry shops today. I haven't been for a while. Um, I think one of the reasons why I haven't been doing videos as well is it's just been the six weeks, and it's you know I've been pretty busy the whole six weeks. Um, you know, I've the kids have been off, so I've been off with the kids, and then the wife's had like days off here and there. Get into bed. Just here. Um, so yeah, I want to get through this stuff. Freaking nightmare, these kids. Anyway, I'll go through the clothing first, and then I've got a few like bits that are like um, lampshades and light shades and stuff like that. I had to tell them. She leaves the video. Um, right, yeah. So I've got a few. Got obviously mostly clothing, but I've got a few bits that aren't clothing, light shades, and stuff like that. Right. And I've jotted them down, written down because I'm a professional. You know what I mean? Also, it's the product. I don't normally wear a wolf top, but I found this old wolf top um, upstairs in the wardrobe. And I thought, oh, I'll wear that as like a scrappy, not scrappy, because obviously nothing wolves would be scrappy, but um, as something to wear around here. So. Uh, yeah. So, some Rohan trousers. I was hoping there was more than one pair. Normally, when I get row hand trousers, there's like a bunch. Um, but yeah, there wasn't. There's only the one pair. These are row hand bags. Um, 42 uh, waist on these. Uh, they cost me three ninety nine. I'm going to ship 35 quid. But yeah, that's a big pair of row hand bags. Yeah, these. Just quickly show these. These are. Jack Jones, skinny fit Liam. Um, 
jeans. I've picked. I've got a few of these listed at the minute. Um, I'm shooting for twenty quid on mine. Um, but when I've had a look at the price today, the money going for about fifteen. So I'm gonna go for fifteen on these. So yeah, fifteen on them. This one I was a bit disappointed with. Um, there's something I always like. I've been caught out a few times with. Is uh. Like this one's got Street Fighter 2. We've got Street Fighter 2 autograph collection. It's a nice t shirt to be fair. Um, but I thought this would be worth more. There's times when I get tricked by the tag. I think the Star Wars and um I'm trying to think there's other there's other ones. And then it doesn't tell you on that label, but when you go on the material label, it'll have Primark on there. Because Primark will have um I don't know, a deal with Star Wars or Disney. I can't stand the way my beard looks at the minute. Um, Star Wars or Disney or something like that, and they'll make a range of clothing with them. And I thought this was going to be the same, but it wasn't. Um, but yeah, it's a Capcom um, Echo 3 Street Fighter 2 t shirt. I thought it'd be worth some money. It's not. <laughs> it's not worth any money, to be fair. Four ninety five uh, a tenner, and that's me being generous. So yeah, not that much money in that one again this one um, I've kind of made up the price on this uh, House of Fraser tartan jacket um, I used to pick up tartan stuff all the time I saw this today and I was like I wouldn't normally, I used to I used to pick up like House of Fraser and M&S and stuff like that um, you know kind of high street shop brands and then I stopped I've, like I've got loads of M&S blazers that I'm slowly now getting rid of on bids um, but yeah I was, I'm was i going for 20 quid I couldn't find one like it women's jackets were going for around 15 I thought you know I'll add a fiver on for tartan somebody will want it so yeah 20 quid on that one what did that cost me? 6 uh, some Wrangler jeans Wrangler Texas um, these were two ninety nine. Um, I always pick up Wranglers. Go for, I'll go for thirty, but obviously, with everything, it's got a best offer. And what's this one? Ah, G Star looks a bit of clothing. Uh, G Star, it's like a denim shirt. Uh, what's it say on the tag? A oh, new Riley shirt. So yeah, they're all they've always got kind of their own unique names. Um, not unique to the, this personal shit, you know what I mean. The, on the tag, it will have a name on a G Star, on a G Star um, piece of clothing, like jeans. The jeans, there's Elwoods, and I'm not going to pretend like I've memorised them all, but you know, there's all different names. So, the, this is a new Riley shirt, it's denim. Um, couldn't find, there was like one that was listed for 30. And then two that were listed for 75 but were brand new. And then when you looked on solds, there wasn't anything that was really sold. There wasn't anything that was on the sold listings. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go for 30 quid. Oh, oh, yeah, I searched like, I just searched G Star denim shirt after that, and it was about 30 quid. So, for 30 quid, that one. Oh. Yeah, so that's the clothing. Um, picked up this decanter um, if you've been watching the videos for a long time I used to pick up decanters all the time um, but picked up this one because of the colour I've had like bubble bubble glass stuff before uh, but yeah 2 dollars it's really thin glass as you can see it's just really thin um, light as anything uh, but really hard really hard to find anything on it uh, this had bond wear imported and it's got a badge foreign on there on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go for 20. It's really difficult, difficult to find a price on it, so I'll go for 20 quid on that. 20 quid. 20 quid. Um, this one was a punt. £4.50, but I thought, I thought it looked cool. I had a quick search while I was in the charity shop. Um, yeah, I had a quick search because it had... Got like an elect two, what's the two socket electric kind of plug in there? I don't know how old it is, but I did a quick search and some were going for like 20, 25 quid. So I'm gonna go for 25 quid, obviously, as an antique, a prop. 
Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to try and say that it still works. Oh, someone just come out of the end That's what I did. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just going to go for a prop. So 25 quid, I'm going to go for that. It cost me 450. Um, yeah, um, a lamp and some light shades. So we've got um, this lamp. It's a nice little lamp, £3.50. Um, it's modern, it's not any kind of vintage. But it's, yeah, it says 2004 on the bottom. But I thought it looked nice. Kind of gold tone on the thing. Well, kids, man. Um, yeah, after the six weeks, I have I've I've had it up to here with grumpy teenage acting kids. Like I, I remember, I remember when I was at work, when I was at like you know a nine to five job, I used to be like, oh, I can't wait until I work for myself and I can look after my kids. You know, I can't wait. What? You're evil. You're rude. You're rude. Yes. Don't kick my stuff. Then don't eat all your stuff. Don't eat all of my stuff either. Go away. Mm -hmm. Lies. Mm. £3.50 this cost. I just thought it looked nice. Nice to little table then. It's got a trunk. Oh no, where is it? So got something there. Like a little chip there. Um but yeah. Yeah, three pound fifty gonna shoot for twenty-five. It's nice. There we go. Can you hear me upstairs? I wanna be in the video. Oh. Right, um this one needs a bit of a clean. Um I pick. I think I've, I think I've got probably close to the exact one, but I think it's more of a down. The one that I've already got listed. I've got it listed for sixty quid. It's got like five watches. So when I saw this today, I was like, ooh. Um, the other one cost me like fifty p. This one cost me two pound. Um, but yeah, it's nice, kind of wicker looking, wooden rattan. Is that another word you use? Um, yeah, it cost me two. I'm gonna stick it on for 60 again. It does, it's very shiny in the middle, if you can see. Um, you can see where it's been glued and stuff, but man made any. Or lady made, or non binary made. I'm not. Like, I wouldn't be someone to turn around and say, this was made by a man. I don't know. Brave. Anyway, um, so yeah, 60 quid. I'm gonna go for this. Soddy. See what happens. And then the last one. I like the look of this. I'll give it a clean because it was make. Um, this cost me four quid. It's kind of a maroon owl glass, but it's a light shade. They were selling it as a vase. They had it in the thing like that as a vase. It was in. It was with the vases. I was like, I don't know how you thought that was a vase. It's got a freaking owl in the bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah. Nice little light shade, Maruno style glass. That's not shit, is it? Oh, is it? That feels sharp there. I don't know. Might be the design. You ain't gonna see it. Um, but yeah, Maruno style kind of Maruno style glass. Light shade. It cost me four. Um, saw, I saw one like this and it went for like 30. So I'm going to go for 30 quid. Sorry, go 30 quid on that one. So yeah, that's what I picked up, guys, today. That's what I picked up today. Today on my travels. Um, yeah, at the minute I'm trying to only get sourcing once a week. And, um, you know, I've got, I've got enough stuff. To list, so I'm, I'm trying to order your sourcing once a week, get my money back up, all that jazz. Uh, but yeah, sales wise, it's been alright. 
it's not been fantastic. I'm not, um, you know, it's shite, but I've probably been in the red from this time last year. Now we're on your thing, when it goes this time last year. I think I've been in the red for most of the year, but I'm still paying the bills. Well, we'll turn it round, guys. We'll turn it round. I'm just trying to get back on that wagon, get back into it, you know, after this pandemic. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's what I picked up. Um, I think I'm going to do this as a solo video, so I do. I think I'm going to do, if I've got a charity shop all, which is worth, um, you know, putting on a video, I'll put it on a video, you know what I mean? So yeah, so for now, peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you in my next video.